words of the Honorable Rev. Run, we got a whole lot of superstars in here tonight. All right? Yes, we do. Welcome to the 2014 BET Awards. That's right. The Black World Cup. Tonight we celebrate black excellence in the world of entertainment. That's right. Tonight you're going to see something you never see. You're going to see black artists getting credit for something they created, okay? That's what we're going to see tonight. That's what we're going to see. We got excellence in music. What happened in music this year? Well, Solange had a fight with Jay-Z in the elevator. That's what happened this year, okay? You know what? Solange hit the right rapper, okay? She did. She hit the right rapper because Jay, everybody's like, I can't believe Jay didn't smack her. Well, Jay's a businessman now. He can't just go punching girls in the face. He got a meeting with Nabisco in the morning, you know? That's right. She hit Blueprint 3, Jay-Z. <laughs> Because reasonable doubt, Jay-Z, if she hit reasonable doubt, that elevator would have been filled up with nothing but lipstick, blood, and weave. <laughs> That's music, baby. What else happened in music this year? Dr. Dre got three billion dollars. <laughs> Dr. Dre, three billion dollars. The man that made the chronic got three Billion dollars. He started, the man that started NWA got three billion dollars. They just dropped the A, okay? There's no more A in NWA. It's just, it's, he's just a. <laughs> That's who he is, all right? I guess that two billion, three billion dollars, it looks like the West Coast won. I guess. <laughs> it looks like, hey, sorry, Puff. <laughs> you know, Dre's got headphones, so now everybody else trying to get headphones. 50 Cent got headphones. Rick Ross even has headphones. That's right, Dre got beats. Rick Ross has diabetes. <laughs> See, they the, the headphones that you put on swollen feet before you chop them off. <laughs> I love Rick Ross. He is not Rick Ross, my favorite rapper. The Rick Ross don't care. Rick Ross just comes out. He got the tits. Is Rick Ross going to be the first rapper to die of breast cancer. <laughs> yes, we celebrate an excellence tonight. Excellence in music, excellence in TV. What's excellent in TV? Scandal. That's right. Scandal starring the lovely K.W. Kerry Washington. Now, a, a lot of people think Scandal is a hit because of Kerry. And she's great in it. But the real reason Scandal's a hit is because every Thursday at 10 o'clock, there's a white president. The white people get to tune in and feel good. Like... For one hour, it's just back to normal. <laughs> they don't even cut on the sound. It's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, let me feel it. Walk in, white man. Yes. Yes, that's our excellence in TV. We got excellence in movies, too. A lot of excellent black movies, man. And some of them don't even have Kevin Hart in them. <laughs> there are movies, Kevin Hart's in everything. My man is in every movie there is. I think I see Kevin, and sometimes he in the trailer and not in the movie. Sometimes I saw him in Magnificent. Kevin Hart, Angelina Joe leaves. He was playing a bush. I was like, "Is that Kev? Get out of here!" Kev's in the Transformers. Like he turned into a Prius. I was like, "Look at Kev! Look at Kev!" A <laughs> lot of great movies. My, one of my favorite movies was the, the Butler. The Butler was amazing. That's right. Oprah Winfrey should have got an Oscar because that acting job was amazing because she had to act like she was poor. That's right. 
There was one scene where she was staring a pot of food for her man. You know they had to get specialists to help her with that. Had to show her what a spatula was. She thought it was a money flipper. That's what you turn over your money when it's right, right? You know, <laughs> another movie I saw, another great black movie, Jackie Robinson. Woo, that was good. 42. That, that movie was a little crazy to me. It was because they, they had the white guy walking around telling Jackie Robinson how crazy white people are. Like, Jackie, they're going to be mean, Jackie. The white people are going to be mean, Jackie. Like, dude, it's 1947. I think he knows how mean white people are in 1947. Did he think he was talking to some future? I think he was talking to Kendrick Lamar's. <laughs> okay, here's a rule about movies, about all civil rights movies. I don't care what they are, the, the Jackie Robinson, uh, the, the Help, all these movies. If you make a civil rights movie and white people like it, it's not a good movie. Okay? You don't see Germans coming out of Holocaust movies going, that was great. But the big news, the biggest news this year, of all, of all the black news was Donald Sterling. That was the big one. Now let me get this straight. An 83 year old white man doesn't like black people. Is that news? Come on. If a, first of all, a black man couldn't look him in the eye till he was 45. The first black man he ever met, he got for Christmas. <laughs> and, hold up, hold up. And don't, don't, don't make me defend Donald Sterling. What exactly did he say? What exactly did Donald Sterling say? I don't want my woman around black basketball players. Me neither. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Who the hell wants their woman around black basketball players? And I'm specific to black ball players. I don't care if my woman's with J.J. Reddick. Mike Dunleavy, David Lee, but if I see you with Serb Chewbacca, we got to talk. Yo, are y'all ready for the show? Are you ready for the show? A night of nothing but lovely blackness. Now, these next two presenters have been in big movies. They've been in big TV shows, and they've been around more basketball players in white towels. Give it up for Gabrielle Union and Regina Hall.